What's up, friends? It's Full Firecore, and welcome back to RG Showdown. Today, we are going to be doing a classic, you could say. We are going to be going over to the random Pokemon generator, and we're going to be grabbing some mods. But this time, I have a uh, <laughs> an interesting condition in mind. Let's get into it. All right, here we are on the random Pokemon generator. And one thing that I've never done is actually like, take my pick out of Mons or something like that. Pokeam and Envy, when they're doing some of these, they like randomize six whole Mons and take their pick out of it. Or they randomize multiple times. I have too many conditions on myself. So this time I'm going to be randomizing three Mons from one single type and picking my favorite out of those. I'm gonna be doing that six times so I have a full team of separate types. So we're gonna start off with the very top type being bug and go all the way down to, well, I don't know, six down or something, or we'll just pick six at random or something like that. I don't know. Maybe we'll just pick them from, uh, I don't know. That can happen later. But we are going to make it so we can get NFEs since I think that would add some extra challenge. Cause you know, maybe there's like a mon that's like pretty bad, like maybe like a, Bruxish or something and maybe that's our water type choice along with like a Squirtle and a, I don't know Brione or something like that of course you want to pick the Brux Bruxish but still that's not a amazing mon so if we just had NFE off we could get something well let's just show you if we did um monotype inside of a type that we're not going to do um spoiler we'll probably not be doing normal since that's kind of lame um yeah these mons like, they could be used, but if you turn on NFE and generate it, ooh, got a Trumbeak. Ooh, got a Rattata. Ooh, got another Trumbeak. Man, I, I really think a Trumbeak wants to join the battle. <laughs> but we're not going to be doing Trumbeak. Trumbeak. So let's just, um, I don't know, pick one of these types at random. Uh, how am I going to choose this? How am I going to choose this? Haha, -ha. my geniusness is beyond anything you guys can comprehend. So we are here on the Pokemon type generator. And this motherfucker has a tutorial, which it looks it looks like a very complicated system right here. So we are going to randomize. And um, if we get one like Psychic Dragon, we're just gonna be, be, be picking the first one. So let's uh, just randomize a couple times, get all warmed up. Our first type, I guess that also includes normal. So I guess we could be doing normal if you guys really like normal. Our first type is going to be poison. Oh man. Okay, let's randomize the poison. All right, we're back and we have poison all set up. NFE's on, sprites on, natures. Do we want to do the extra, th like, no, nah, I want to make them as optimal as possible. You see, I'm fine using these mons, but I like making them usable. I don't want to have something like a, I don't know, like a naughty nature on a, I actually don't even know what the naughty nature is. It's probably like plus special defense minus attack or something something weird like that but let us generate this team oh my god we have a ghastly we have a coughing and we have a stunky good god so we have to pick one of these boys who am i going to be picking well ghastly kind of sucks but i think he might have destiny bond so that could be something coughing He's pretty legendary, right? Right? But he won't really do much for me. He could be like a levitator though, so we always could use a levitator on the team. And then we have Stunky. Oh man. Stunky the legend. I could see like an evil light build with this thing. Maybe using it with like toxic protect or something. It would be cool. I could see it. But that all depends on who we pick. So I think I'll actually just record this entire thing, all the sections, and then I'll record another section after this, showing all the mons I chose. So let's move on to the next type randomization. All right, let's let's rev it up a little bit. Let's just rev it up. The next type that we're going to be randomizing. Oh my god, I can't believe the first thing we got was stunky and coughing, and then whoever the other dude was. Stunky. Coughing and Ghastly, of course, of course. So let us randomize the next type, and that will be Flying-type. So, you know, Coughing? Like, 
I was gonna pick him, but since we have a flyer, I don't think I don't think we're gonna need coughing, but that's that's kinda just up to Volt Fire Core inside the future. So let's randomize this flying type. Alright, so we do still have the possibility to get good mons, like we could get like a Zapdos or something. So I really hope we get something good. Let's randomize and see if we get anything better than these guys. Oh my god. Damn. So we got a Starly, a Hoppip. Hop, Hoppip. I always call those things Hoppets. It's Hoppip? What kind of name is that? I've never used that thing in my life. <laughs> okay. I know it evolves into Jump Love, but that's like all I know. And then we got Zatu. Obviously probably gonna go with like a weird heavy-duty boots U-turn Zatu or, or something like that. You know, the RU legend. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll let Volt, Volt, Volt Fire Core inside the future test that. So next type will be... The Poison... <laughs> so we got Poison. We got... Oh, okay. I thought we got a Poison Flying type. No, we got a Poison Fighting. So it has to be the first type because I don't want to do fighting. I'm just using that as an excuse. Water. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so far we have the possibility of some crappy poison types, and most likely a Zatu. So hopefully we get something like Swampert or something cool. Ooh, we got Mudkip though. Mudkip, best starter by the way. We got two Rain Sweepers, one on the physical side and one on the special side. Now Kabutops is a little bit cooler in my opinion, but that's just because I don't really like Ludicolo in general. But, you know... These are actually some pretty decent mods. I like I like these. I like these. They make me happy. All right, we have randomized three types so far, being poison, flying, and water. And uh, <laughs> I really hope we uh, yeah. I'll just put all the Pokemon that we're gonna have at the end of this section, and uh, <laughs> then we'll see what our weaknesses are. So the next type we're gonna be doing is ground type. You always need an Earthquake user. You always do. So hopefully we actually get our hands on an Earthquake user. <laughs> so, Ground a Nation, and we are going to get... Ooh, Rhyperior, Runerigus, and a... A Wooper! Hell yeah. Wooper, the cool guy. I'm gonna randomize it once and see what we could have gotten. Okay, you see, we could have gotten something like that. So, we got <laughs> Runerigus or Rhyperior. Technically Wooper, but... You know, that's kind of up to debate. All right, so so far it's poison, flying, water, and ground. We got some good type coverage, and uh, I like that. All right, on to Pokemon number five. I think this is type number five. Yeah, poison, flying, poison, flying, water, ground. Yeah, on to number five, which will be the flying type, we already have that. The rock type, okay, okay. Like, we already got a Kabutops, probably, but, you know, I'm gonna deal with that, I'm gonna deal with it. Rock and ground, so we could, we could choose rock and ground, but unfortunately there's no randomizer for, du for dual types. But yeah, I like this so far, I like this so far. Alright, our fifth type being rock, our options will be... Oh, Bonsly? Hell yeah! Mmm! Okay, so we got Bonsly, Mediocre, Carcoal, aka Speedwagon, which you always gotta, you always gotta think about Speedwagon, and then Regirock. Now, it might be obvious to pick the Regirock here, but Regirock kinda sucks ass, and I would much rather use an Iron Defense Body Press Carcoal than use the, uh, the trash that is Regirock. That thing is bad. <laughs> Very bad. It got, it like, I'm pretty sure it's been PU since like the very beginning. Rock is a bad type, so yeah, this one's kind of up to debate. I guess this is going to be our final type. I'm kind of nervous. I'm kind of nervous. I think we need a, I think we need a legendary type, something like dragon or something. But let's see what we get. Poison again. Ground again. Ghost. Mm. You know, I, we were this close to getting a steel type. Wait, is there a ghost and steel type? Easy slash. Sorry. My brain was blanking for a second. <laughs> the first thing I thought of was like haunted haunted silverware. <laughs> and of course we have the haunted silverware piece himself, Aegislash. But ghost. 
You always need that ghost, especially since we have a, I don't know, maybe a fighting weakness. Let's randomize this final type. All right, so we've been uh, here for 10 minutes just randomizing this, but I've had a hoot and a half. And uh, for the record, guys, this is going to be one of those videos where I take a day to build the team, since there's no way I could take a team using coughing and all these some subpar mons and make them good. I need to have like custom EV spreads and stuff. That would be even cooler. But let's randomize these ghost mons. Ooh, Bayonet. I think you guys know what that means, right? Might have to put on a Mega Bayonet. Just might, just might, you know, if we have the option. Is that cheating? I don't know, we have these mons. So, I wonder who we're gonna pick. I really do. <laughs> Volt Firecore into the future. Hopefully he picks some good mons for me. All right, guys, here's the mons that I chose. Oh man. Okay, so as you, you can see them all right here and you're probably a little confused about some of them, but let me just explain my reasoning. So the first type we have is poison. We had the option of a ghastly, a stunky, and a coughing. Now I kind of wanted to do the smoke on coughing, but you know, we had flying type, we didn't really need it. So I am gonna probably use like a, an Evil Light Stunky or something with Aftermath or something like that. The next mod we had was Flying type where we had a, um, a Hopip, a Zatu, and some other flying organism. And Zatu was definitely the pick since like, look at this thing, it's, it, it, it's legendary. And it also has the Magic Bounce ability, which I will be throwing that on immediately since that is going to be quite helpful since we don't look like we have a devogger the next type we got was the water type we had the uh we had uh kabutops we had ludicolo which i actually chose ludicolo since we had you know kind of a fighting weakness just a little bit so i put on ludicolo since we didn't uh you know i don't want another fighting weakness with kabutops and then we also had uh, mudkip as a possibility but didn't really feel like running Mudkip today, so Ludicolo is the man for me. The next Mon we have is a ground type being Rhyperior. Now I chose Rhyperior over Rune Regis because, well, I already kind of at that point decided I was going to use the final Mon on the team and I didn't want to run both of them. So inside of this we had the option of uh, Rune Regis, Rhyperior, and some probably very bad mon but i decided on the rhyperior since he's cooler he's cooler and look at those stats they don't lie the next type we had is the rock type and i actually decided to use speedwagon since i think car coal is infinitely cooler than reggie rock being the um not my favorite type uh, well no he's not my favorite type definitely and he's also not my favorite design not my favorite reggie he's just i don't like him I, I don't like him and i don't want to use him and besides like you could say he's stronger than Carcoal, but you see i like to challenge myself and i like to use the memes so we're gonna have speedway gone and he's gonna help us out we'll see what we can do with this uh with this man and then you might be a little confused why i actually didn't use bayonet so the reason is about two days ago, or three days ago, at the time of uploading this, or <laughs> recording this, it's going to be uploaded a fat minute from now, Thunderblunder777, the man himself, decided to do some Generation 5 OU, and I really enjoyed it. It actually is uh, part of the reason why I started playing it, messing around with it and all that. And uh, instead of one of his, of his uh, most recent videos, or by that point, one of the videos that he played Gen 5 in used a... Uh, <laughs> A Cofagrigus with Trick Room, Nasty Plot, like Self Sweeper. It was like in Power Fire. It, it was pretty crazy because I'm pretty sure inside of Gen 5, uh, Ghost resisted or Steel resisted Ghost since, you know, obviously it should. The only thing that he'd be able to hit Steel is Water and Electric. Everything else has to be resisted. Yeah, because inside of Gen 5, also Dark resisted or Steel resisted Dark. So, you know, Steel is just such a fun type to go against. But I decided to run Kofagriga since he has, he has some pretty good stats and I kind of like how he looks. And besides, let me just show you one of the best shinies in the game. Oh, dang, that is, that is fire. Fire. That's a, ew, no. Ew, no, I've never even seen that. Eh. Low Tads is infinitely better though. 
Zatu's mediocre, and then I think I know what Skunkies is. Mmm, no, the... Mmm, Skunkachu. <laughs> uh, but here are the mons that we're going to be using. I'll take a day to build the epic team, but I'll see you guys till then. Okay, here we are. Now, I just have to say, this is probably one of the lowest... Um, <laughs> Well, not lowest, one of the highest difficulty games that I think I'm going to have to do to actually win with this <laughs> really weird team. Okay, so um, like I said inside the previous section, which was like two and a half days ago, um, we have Stunky, Zatu, Ludicolo, Rhyperior, Carcol, and... <laughs> I almost just forgot his name. <laughs> I'm going to call him Runerigus. Kofagrigus. Sorry, sorry. So we're going to go through all of these dudes. So first we have the MVP, the main man himself. Stunky, which is a Focus Sash, Toxic, Protect. Literally, the only thing this dude's going to be able to do is priority, maybe stall someone out with Dig Toxic or something. I don't know. I'm just going to try to do something with this dude. He also has Aftermath, just in case. Fast Bulky Support? Yeah, because he just... He's not going to be able to do anything else. Uh, next, we have the Zatu with the Heavy Duty Boots. He's just in there to uh, get in there, I guess. Try to take a hit, maybe, and then, uh, and then bounce out since he's a cool dude yeah magic bouncer since i had no defog i think stunky does learn it though maybe uh next we have the uh somewhat sweeper we have the life orb ludicolo he's going to set up his own rain and i do not want to miss any kind of uh hydro pump so i decided to put weather ball on we also might be able to uh you know maybe someone's running like a talon flame on a sand team. I don't know why you'd run Talon Flame on a sand team. That kind of defeats the whole point of Gale Wings, but you know, we could use a Weather Ball and take out that, or maybe a Volcarona, something like that, if people want to do that. Um, yeah, he has some good moves. Next, we have the Assault Vest Rhyperior. This EV spread does nothing. I just wanted him to be at 400 HP since it's a good number, and the rest is put inside of a special defense. He's, uh, he's gonna try to get in there. He's just a four attack, beat him up. He's gonna do his best. These moves are probably unoptimal. Next, we have a pretty interesting one. So this, I'm pretty sure could do a lot of damage to Greninja. So what this dude does is he has Focus Sash. Hopefully he doesn't have to deal with the rocks. That's why we have the Zatu. And his entire purpose is to get in there on a water type or something, get his steam engine bonus, making him faster, and then going for iron defense so we can body press them. <laughs> so I really don't know if uh, we're gonna be able to outspeed things. Like Steam Engine, it raises our speed times four. So we should be able to outspeed things, but I also put on Flame Charge, just in case. Like, you know, you never know if you can actually try to sweep with a car coal. I've done it inside of Enyu, I mean, <laughs> ZU, so I could probably do it National Dex. And then finally, we have the Kofagrigus, which is the set that Blender used inside of one of his recent videos for Generation 5 being the Shadow Ball Hidden Power Fighting, since I didn't really have any uh, moves like that. So we have that. Uh, Nasty Plot and Trick Room. <laughs> We're going to try our very best with this team and see how we do. This video is probably not going to be too long since I'm going to get my ass handed to me. But let's hit some national decks with the low tier experience. So as long as we don't deal with anything absolutely insane, except Greninja. I kind of want to see Greninja. Stall. Nice. Okay. Pretty cool. I also like it that most of my team is uh, special attackers, so probably going to get messed up by uh, by the Chancernator. I did not mean to go into that, but you know, you can go into whatever you want. I really don't want him to uh, do anything like Will-O-Wisp, so I think I'll just go into my... Um, Stunky here, Mega Willow, Metronome, damn, my man kind of be popping. All right, I'll go for the Toxic here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, Metronome confused, right? Fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of an idiot, whatever, whatever. <sighs> Okay, he set up the trick room, which is nice. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep digging, I guess. Clanging scales. Okay, so full metronome team. At least he's not running stall. It just kind of looked like stall. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Okay, we got this. We got this. <laughs> Kofagrigus, your time is now. 
Go for that nasty plot. Grimmsnarl. Uh, probably going to go for an Encore. If it has it. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. I could just go for the Hand Power Fighting right here. Which, yeah, it, it'll do more. Metronome got gets that Psychic. Pretty nice. All right, I'm whittling him down. I'm, I'm whittling him down. Double kick, full metronome team. You gotta respect it. You gotta respect it. And I really appreciate this man for setting um, setting all this stuff up for me. I'll just uh, go for the hidden power fighting again, and he'll uh, seed bomb me. Cool. Oh, I should have expected that he was gonna <laughs> get an attacking move in there, go for the trick room or something. But the leftovers are coming in clutch. Mega Sableye is in. The man himself. I can just Shadow Ball here. He will go for the Sky Attack. Damn. Okay, so my main man lives at 1 HP and uh, Sky Attack didn't work or something? I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, it worked. And there we go, there's the Mega Sableye. So, so far so good. And luckily I have uh, some fighting moves for Chansey if necessary. Oh man, oh man. <laughs> you know, you can't blame me. Like this team team looks exactly like Stall. All right, the Chancernator comes in, and I know him power fighting is not going to do enough. So all nasty plot once. Whirlpool. My man was trying to like <laughs> not let me leave. He wanted me dead. Okay, I'll go for the hidden power fighting here. You'll probably be a little confused why I have this, but you know. There's a reason. Okay, he'll go for the metronome shadow ball and critical hit. Damn. And lowers my defense. Chance he's kind of popping. I like this. This is pretty cool. Okay, I'll go for another nasty plot. Cosmic power. Oh, hell no. Hell no. Chancey with cosmic power. That is that is a match made in hell. Speed swap. Okay. Um. Did that make me faster or slower? Made me faster, so I appreciate it. Rock slide. Yep, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep, I'm just gonna keep clicking this move. <laughs> All right, he gets those stealth rocks, doing the normal chancy thing. Can't believe I went for toxic. Oh man, I'm an idiot. All right, well, I'm pretty sure I can win this, so there's um, there's no reason for me to stay in. Well, there is a reason, but I'm going to... I'm going to go into Zatu here, since I don't really want to just sweep through him. He's doing full metronome. Grudge. Huh? You know, I'm learning moves. I'm learning these, uh, these moves right here. All right, he'll go into that. And then I'll just teleport out. Magic room. Okay, so now my... Uh, my item does nothing. That's pretty cool. All right, Perrier, your, your time is now. You're AV, so, you know, you could do something. I believe in you. Go for Earthquake. He'll go for Earthquake. I'll go for Earthquake. Match me in heaven. Sorry for the pause right there. Had to uh, take care of something. But the main man goes for Octozuka and our AV actually pulls through. <laughs> Anyways, I uh, ended up fire punching the Clefable just in case he wanted to go into Celebi. But I highly doubt he'd make that play. Oh my god. My main man got Octozuka. Alright, Phantom Force. That's pretty cool. You go ahead and uh, you go ahead and just take me out, main man. Main man, Jerry man. You go ahead. All right, all right, now it's finally time. It's time. I'm gonna go into Ludicolo. Go for the rain dance. <laughs> Eerie impulse. Bro! <laughs> Come on, man! Come on! Okay, I weather ball him. Again, I'm sorry, Gomena, sorry. I'm just gonna keep ice beaming him since I'm not really that uh, that worried about taking him out. Lunge, okay. Lowers my attack. This um, this poor, uh, this poor Ludicolo. 
He goes for a metronome and close combat. Dang, man, dang. All right, now it's time. It's finally time. I'm gonna go into the Zatu, right? I'm going to teleport out so the rain leaves me alone. Gravity. Okay, that's pretty cool. Carcoal can come in. Oh man, and now it's time. Carcoal. Carcoal, my main man. Go for iron defense. Smackdown. Nas LB. Nas LB, it's happening. Oh wait, I think Smackdown does less damage. Give me insomnia. Okay. And I think I'm in enough. I think I'm enough now. I can just go for this body press. Man, this dude's setting up all these things to defend himself. Whenever I can flame charge now. Defense curl. Come on, man. I like that the uh, the body press did more. All right, I think we're actually maybe faster. So I'm gonna go for a um, another body press here. Yeah, we're actually faster. Our main man gets glaciate. Lowers my speed. Come on, man. He gets metronome confuse ray. I hit myself in confusion. Now I hit through. All right, his reflect is gonna it's gonna leave pretty soon. Ancient power. All right, it's time to finish this off. It's time to finish this off. Like, of course, there's always the chance that we lose this, but I'm gonna finish this off with the shadow ball. Liquidation. All right, and there goes the natural cure. Okay, G GG, man, that was, that was pretty cool. I will actually give him the GG since I think that's worth it. All right, let's bounce and move on to the next game. Gotta keep that open just in case. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, man. Hell yeah, hell yeah. All right, peace out, man. Like your full metronome team. Sorry that I went for toxic on your, <laughs> your fucking magic bouncer. Uh, of course I make that kind of play. I'm the kind of guy that doesn't know the effects when like there's a train up or you know he goes for like prankster moves on a dark type you know all that stuff oh damn so we go from a, a pretty chill team to this man's team this disgusting team dude come on <laughs> why you, anyone who runs Cresselia is obviously just a degenerate that is one of the most degenerate like mons i can ever see but this dude kind of just gets fucked up like by ludicolo literally like Cresselia and uh and lopany are the only ones that can kind of kind of feed it but i'm gonna go into loot go of course he goes lopany that's fine that's fine you can go for that fake out every single time every single time <laughs> he's just gonna kill me now isn't he i think so okay so my main man goes into chrysalia probably trying to get a toxic or something but I can just go for uh, go for weather ball here. I, I appreciate him letting me uh, get my stuff up like that. Do some good damage to the Cresselia. He's going to side shock me. Um, I think I'll actually save this and go into the Stunky. Good play, maybe. I don't know. Um, I'll protect here. Okay, so we expected the Toxic. Fair enough fine with me man um i think i kind of just want to sack this thing so i'll go for the sucker punch well I, actually i don't want him to sd on me yeah i really don't want that so who's my counter ludicolo don't really want to deal with that though so i think i'll just go into uh sack carcoal yeah i don't think carcoal does anything goodbye carcoal dude you can't just knock me off like that bruh Alright, he's, if he's like really low speed, we might be able to do something. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. So now it's time for my Cofagrigus um, beat down. His time is now. Uh, really wish we could have got that Ludicolo sweep, but you know, that Megalopony is just going to come in every single time and, uh, and go for that fake out. And I'm just going to remember now, he has Scrappy. I'm gonna remind myself into the future. So he knocks off my, oh, nice. Nice, nice. Get poisoned. Man, seeing a Gliscor get poisoned like that, it's always satisfying. So I can go for the Shadow Ball now. Actually, wait, I won't go for the Shadow Ball. I'll go for, uh, eh. 
Eh. I'll go for the Shadow Ball. Oh, damn. And that Hidden Power Fighting, just in case he wants to make that, that play. Oh! Hmm, I like that, I like that. Alright, you go ahead and just go, oh, actually, oh, the sand actually killed him. Dang, and we get to get another kill, or kind of. Yeah, I can just Shadow Ball whoever comes in. He doesn't have any priority, that's, uh, that's like the main female lady who's going to take me out. Hell yeah, hell yeah. The power of Kofagrigus with that hidden power of fighting. No one expects it. Alright, Cresselia, you go ahead and go in, you probably, like, protect or something. Alright, now he can just bring in his next Mon. He knows I'm Trick Room. You go ahead, man. You go ahead. I ain't gonna diss you for it. I ain't gonna diss you. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait a little bit, right? He's gonna go for the Fire-type move here. I'm gonna go into Rhyperior, right? And live. <laughs> nah, I'm just sacking this thing. There was no reason for me to keep it alive. He doesn't have Ancient Powering since he's that kind of guy. I see, I see. Uh, Rhyperior can just come in. Go, Rhyperior! I'll go for one smack down here. Okay, so he ends up staying in. Well, actually, I kind of needed to do that anyways. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, like I was going to go for another smack down, but, you know, I can just go for that EQ, I guess. And... Would he make the play? I think he would. Nope. <laughs> I wanted to call it, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that kind of stuff. So my man does have poison heal again, since unfortunately he's uh he's back at it again. I kinda wanna save this dude, so I'll just sack my Ludicolo. Hopefully he's not SD or something. <laughs> no, please no. Okay. Well, there goes my um entire existence it's pretty cool very cool yeah yeah okay no way no way to me to for, uh, for me to win this so i'm just gonna bounce we were able to take out a megalopony with this team so oh this dude's sun team is fire i'm actually building a team right now on mega hound doom and you might think i'm bullshitting you right now but uh i'm gonna go into my team builder don't mind those. Just the tip. We have Mega Houndoom here. Um, that's the name of a, uh, a a different team. It was a uh, Tangrowth Sun team. So I decided to make it a Houndoom. Mega Houndoom. Since it has um, solar power as its ability. And look at that. Look at that special attack. Good God. That's disgusting. But I think I could just go... Lee, Lee, Lee Ludicolo. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling Lee Ludicolo. So has to go Skarmory here. I ain't going to diss him for it. He can do whatever he wants. Uh, if he wants to go for those Stealth Rocks, that's fine. I'm going to go into uh, Zachu. That's that's the smart play here. Good play. Good play. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I have Assault Vest Rhyperior, so hopefully we can take this pretty well. Take it actually like a champ, I have to say, I have to say. And I can just go for the uh, smack down here. Yeah, smack him on the ground. Get down here, boy. There we go, now he's smacked down. And he's afraid now, he's he's afraid of this earthquake. Okay, you're, dude, dude, you're still on the ground, man. Like, I'm doing more damage to you, so. Uh, could have made, could have, I could have made the play. I, I could have, but there's no reason to do that since you know, Skarmory is usually a little bit more important than that. Alright, Solar Beam time. You go ahead and do that, man. I'm a Stunky. I don't want to a Nasty Plot, though. But I think Rhyperior is more... Rhyperior is more important than that. So I'll go Stunky here. Goodbye, Stunky! Take it like an actual champ. We protect here. Nice Fire Blast. Go into Rhyperior. Get 
burnt. <laughs> I'm gonna wait. I I'm gonna wait. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> okay. All right. Tried to make that play. Tried to make it. <laughs> I was trying to just stall out the turns, but it was for naught. Stunky can come back in, and uh, just go for the protect. If he switches out, that's fine. I just want to try to... Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough, man. I'll actually dig here. Solar beam. Damn. Making those... Those whatever kind of play that was. You think Ludicolo would live? Be able to go for the rain dance? I don't think so. I really don't. My, uh... My stats aren't the best, but I'm gonna go for rain dance regardless. You know? Good for me, bad for him. Matters not. Weather ball time. Venusaur. Yeah, you go ahead and... Oh my god, Ludicolo. You madman. You madman! I'll Ice Beam now. You know, that's fine. Come on, get that freeze. Nah. Um, I don't know if Fire Blast would be... Uh, well, Fire Blast is definitely going to kill me, but... I don't really have anything to hit him with. Got nothing. Ludicolo is too important. Can't have him like this. So Zatu, you go ahead and just take this hit for me, buddy. Ooh. We do not take that like a champ. We uh, we take that like we just got slapped with a bag of rocks. And he's actually Hidden Power Ice or Rock something. Hidden Power Dark. That'd be kind of funny. Carcoal, you know, I think this is the man. I think this is the man. Stone Edge time. I think he's too afraid. He's too afraid to stay in the Carcoal. I don't want to go for the Iron Defense here, but whatever he brings in is just going to be able to kill me. He's probably really confused right now. Texting to me like, oh, why are you using this thing? It's so, it's so weird. I didn't even name this thing Speedwagon, so, you know, a little unfortunate. You know, I, it hurts, but that would have done like, zero. <laughs> look at that body press. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Now it's time for the, uh, Attempted Coffer Grigus sweep. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I gotta go for it. I gotta go for Trick Room. Gotta do it. I was gonna nasty plot. Wait, but that would that win me the game? If I nasty plot, he goes into Hound Doom and hopefully and probably kills me. Yeah, I got a nasty plot here. I gotta do it. Venusaur. Yeah, you're probably just killing me with a weather ball, man, but, uh, you know, solar beam. Oh, we live. Oh, oh. All right, we got Coffer Grigus in here with Shadow Ball, the man himself. We're going to try our best to take these guys out. <laughs> Getting some nice leftovers. Come on, go into the Hound Doom right now. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> I dare you. Whip. Oh, this guy. This guy. I'm shadow balling. Hmm. Cleaning up. I have to say. I don't know what this man's doing. I really don't. He's just like sacking his whole team. Hmm. Like he's smart because he knows how this works. Hmm. All right. Again, sorry about the pauses. Um, I think my best play here would be to go into. Uh. Yeah. It's a bummer. It's a bummer, but this is how we're going out going out in style all right luckily i get to get finished off by mega hound doing the uh cool dude himself yeah just dark pulse me just do it 
Ah, snake. Okay, whatever. Rain dance if I can live. Sludge bomb. Sludge bomb. Sludge bomb. I don't know what kind of coverage that's for. Maybe the fairies, but whatever, man. GG, GG. Well, I said I was going to do only a couple battles, and that's pretty much what I'm going to do. So, with that being said, guys, hope you enjoyed this very random monotype game. Um, <laughs> be sure to comment down below the next kind of random thing you want me to do. Even if it's inside the future, I'll do it, because I want more randomness, since randomness is fun. But with that being said, guys, thank you for watching, and keep on the lookout for my videos.